She knows what's going on. Itza training with Trevor Pohlmus. Um, we'll have no lack of cardio and uh, a very creative jujitsu game. Probably, I'm going to take a guess since it's Catalyst, a pretty good guard game. Yep. Double leg from Sharon. Some wrestling as we expected. Yeah. And a good transition to north-south here to front headlock position. That's very tough front headlock. And eats a climbing her way guard. into the guard. Very smart, controlling the posture. Just finding herself a little bit. It's always good to settle in for a second after the big uh, first flurry of a match. Take some rescue breaths. Think about what you're going to do. She's got two on one, working on the left arm of Jacob. Jacobson using the stack to try to defend that, and she's out. Oh, man. She Shucks the legs strong. over. Back on that front headlock position. She's going to want to shove that right arm through. Oh, don't worry about that front headlock anymore. Pressuring up against the cage. Strong I pressure against the I wouldn't the be cage. surprised to see Jacobson uh, get her hands joined at some point at, behind the legs and just scoop her back and sit her on her booty. And we might see some aerials here. Oh, this is going to be the Bam! Hard, hard way to the cage. That was, uh, that was a hard That duck. was a statement takedown. That was a statement. Jacobson staying strong in that front headlock front position. Headlock. And that can be a miserable position for Oof. someone with that level of wrestling experience. Yeah, very, very heavy pressure. Again, Jacobson will probably work here to connect her hands. Oh, very she slick. She hasn't connected. Very slick how she pulled her head out and around. Let's see if Salazar can work her guard in place here. Jacobson's doing a good job of pinning her hips, especially in this dead zone. Looking, looking at the match to this point, if I'm Salazar, I'm going to try to turn this into a speed match and just really create some space and, and move and try to catch something on the fly. Because if you stay under the pressure of a wrestler like Jacobson, you're gonna be real tired and you're not going to get a lot of opportunities. No, it's continual smashing. Smish. Jacobson has her in that dead zone and is just continuing to put pressure yeah. on her. Just constant hit pressure in and down. And when you're on the bottom in that guard position, it, it gets frustrating when you can't create your angles. Jacob, Jacobson is grappling like she has zero fear of being caught. She's, she's very aware of her positioning, yeah. too. I mean, even if she's in danger, she just powers her way back to where she wants to be. Ooh, right around to a body has lock. That, she has it locked up. We yeah. might, might see some aerials again. Might, yeah, she might pick her back up here. Uh, that front headlock, you're going to want to widen your base out if you're Salazar. Um, she's trying to hang on to that guillotine, but yeah. Jacobson's going to power through that. Oh, see, I'd like to see this from Salazar. The high-flying stuff is going to be where her bread and butter is at. You do not want to get into a back-and-forth power struggle with Jacobson. No. Move fast, catch things on the fly. And throwing those guillotine attempts on her is going to make her change up what she's doing with her shots. She's not going to want to stick that head in all the time like that. But right back to getting her hands connected on the bottom. And Just there. there's the lift. And dump. Gathering the legs. Very, uh, very Khabib-like. Khabib, yeah. Gather the legs. Smish. And crawl.
the stiff arm, as you will. And that's the end of our round. I believe we're going to go to overtime. And remember, this is the best of three for these ladies. So seeing more matches like this yeah. is going to get grueling towards that second and third match. I don't have a whole round in me, much less three. <laughs> a potential 15 plus minutes of grappling. Ugh. The ponytail fix, very similar to the um, black belt belt tie. Get yourself an extra minute. Strategic. Yep. I'd use it. And I can't even put a ponytail in. <laughs> Salazar uh, won the uh, rock scissors paper and she will take the back first. Let's go, it's up. She's going to start with double underhooks. Probably wasn't rock, scissors, paper. Maybe it was paper, scissors, rock. I think it was odds and evens, but <laughs> I like to make up my own rules. And here we go. And we'll state again that uh, the action in overtime has no bearing if the match goes to the judges. The only thing overtime is good for is a finish. If you get a finish, your opponent has to beat your time in finish. Jacobson is already... Cleared her off the back and is under mount now. Better-ish? <laughs> eh, I mean, I prefer mount. So many attacks from there. She's going to want to try to gather that arm up, it looks like. She's trying to isolate an arm. Does she have a choke there? No, she's isolating an arm. Oh, it now like we're in she a might scramble. have been thinking triangle there yeah. as well. She's got a, she's got that guillotine. She had to let that go. Now eats is on the bottom. Possible triangle position here. She's gonna want to crawl. Oh, that's and time. There is the time. These girls have a possibility. Possible 21 minutes. Good with the math, aren't you? Sometimes. I count it on my toes. Oh. And now we'll see what Jacobson can do from the back. She does have that latch. Doesn't matter. It's all the same. The thing above the shoulders is the neck. Yep, all the way to the eyebrows. Salazar doing a good job at controlling, not putting herself in a dangerous position. Jacobson's doing a great job there controlling the position. Thank you. At this point, uh, if you're Salazar, you're just wanting to run the clock out so you... Uh, <laughs> Try not to exhaust yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save the energy. You've got to come back in uh, one, two, three, four, five more matches. You're right back up here. She's looking for a toe hold. She missed it on the slide by, and that's going to be time. This one will go to the referees. The decision will be made just off of regular time, not overtime. The action in overtime has no bearing. We do want to thank Moyer Total Wellness. As an elite sponsor for the event, they're also providing medical care cage side. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by the referee's decision from the red corner, Sharon.